Hey, it's Kramer Ammons. Thanks for joining me today. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for joining me. I'm fully convinced that I've got the best subscribers. So thanks to all of you for all the support. I'm not saying you suck at archery, I'm just saying that I have most of my life. And it wasn't too long ago that I found an easy fix, and I'm not kidding you, an actual easy fix to probably the number one biggest reason why I haven't been so good at archery. It's the follow through. Now hold on with me for a second. I've known my follow through has not been very good. So why was my follow through not so good? Well, the answer I always got is, don't have great back tension. The thing I always heard is that you need better back tension and then your follow through will be great. It's just the back tension, engage that back. Well, that answer did not work for me. It, I've tried, like, come on, I'm doing my best. And then recently I accidentally stumbled upon the problem. As funny as it is, my wife asked me, hey, will you do this little stretching mobility workout with me? And I said, sure. And then this is what happened. One of the workouts was to lay on the ground like this and then you, Put your arms above your head, right here. Keep your elbows on the ground, all the way up and touch, right? One of the stretching workouts. And what happened? I went like this. I'm gonna move. Like, I am not kidding you. It was this bad. <laughs> Couldn't get my elbows to the ground. So what I do next? I started to try this, okay. If I'm shooting a bow, I try, I, this is what I tried to do. You know, I tried to engage that back. I was not flexible enough. I literally could not do the motion. Sitting at computers all the time, working with my hands right in front of me, I was not flexible enough to have a follow through. I've been trying to do something my body's not even capable of doing. Problem solved. Three weeks of stretching, oh my goodness. <laughs> it helps so much. It helps that you can actually do what you're trying to do physically. My chest, my shoulder, and my back was not flexible enough for me to even do the motion that people were telling me to do. And so, it wasn't necessarily that I wasn't engaging my back, it was that my muscles were not flexible enough to even do the motion in the first place. And that's the major reason I have sucked at archery. I think. From my experience, since I fixed this problem, my shots have improved more than any other solution. And I'm not there yet, but I'm definitely getting better. So real quick, a few pointers. Why is it important? Well, it's very important to be flexible because it's hard to have a good follow through without it. First off, or maybe impossible in my case. The benefits that I found out from this is that the release becomes a lot more effortless. On top of that, you just automatically feel stronger when you're more flexible. I feel much stronger now, even though I'm not necessarily stronger, but my body feels that way. With proper flexibility, you can finally achieve proper bicep tension and proper back tension to end up with a really, really solid release. So to improve flexibility, it's not that hard. Here are a few clips of things you can do to quickly improve your flexibility if you do it every day for three to five minutes. That's really it for today, but just check your flexibility if you're having trouble with your follow through. And maybe, just maybe, you fell into unflexibleness like me. Thanks for joining me. Stay shatterproof. I'll see you on the next video. I always want to make sure that I'm somebody who's been there and done that before I decide to go ahead and teach it. archery, not bow making, but with shooting archery, that's something I've really had to consider because I don't want to pretend 
like I'm teaching something or pretend like I know something I don't, you know? Like if your physical trainer is 300 pounds overweight, you might need to get a new one. And if you're taking financial advice from a broke person, I don't think that's a good idea. So today I'm not, all I can do today is just tell you what I've learned, but I'm not telling you to do this. This is just my experience.